In this video, we're going to be looking at a particular problem um, where we've got to prove that A at 1, 2, B at 3, 7, C at 8, 5, so three coordinates, could lie at three corners of a square. So not only do we have to show that the three points form a right angle, but we've also got to show that those two sides, okay, that we're considering, are equal in length. So first of all, it's very useful to draw a little diagram. So if we think that A is 1, 2, so A is 1, 2, then we've got B is 3, 7, so a little bit along and further up. And then C is 8, 5, okay? So further along, but not quite there. So something like that. So there's C. Okay? So what we're thinking about here is that this is actually part of a square. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try and find the length of AB. So we want the length of AB, and we want the length of BC, we want them to be the same. So first of all, let's look for the length of AB. Okay, so we want to find the length of that hypotenuse. So this is going from coordinate 1 to coordinate 3, and so the base is of length 2. The height is going from 2 to 7, and so that would be of length 5. And so using Pythagoras, that's the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 29. So I know that the length of that line is 29. Now let's consider the other two points, so B and C. So B is at 3 to 8, so that's 5, and then from 5 to 7, that's 2. And so BC, the length of BC, is 5 squared plus 2 squared, square rooted, which is root 29. And so the square the length of AB is the same as the length of BC. So that's done. The next thing to do is to think about making sure that this is a right angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to show that the line AB and the line BC are perpendicular. So we need to know the gradients of those lines. So let's say that, if I get rid of that, that bit, Okay, so let's think about the gradient of AB. Okay, and we're going to call that M1. Okay, so the gradient of MB, uh, AB rather, is the difference of the y coordinates, which is 7 to 8 with 2, so that's 5. So 5, divided by the difference in the x coordinates, which will be uh, 3 take away 1. So Two. So the gradient of AB is 5 halves. If we now look at the gradient of BC, and I'm going to call that M2, then that's the difference in the y coordinates, so 5 take away 7, all over 8 take away 3. So we have 5 take away 7 is minus 2. And 8 take away 3 is 5. Okay, so we've got M1 is 5 halves, M2 is minus 2 fifths. It's not enough to then say that these are negative reciprocals of one another. What we are show is that M1 times M2 is equal to minus 1. So we multiply 5 halves by minus 2 fifths, and we get um, minus 10 over 10 which is minus 1. And so, because AB, the length of AB and the length of BC is the same, 
and because the two lines must meet at a right angle, because the gradients are negative reciprocals of one another, that means that we have proved that A, B and C could lie at three corners of a square.